This uh, presentation is about the reinforcement learning parameter optimization of a sliding mode uh, for UAV control. My name is Majid Kamiyab and uh, I hope you enjoy this presentation. In order to do this, uh, we would like to find the optimized uh, control input for UAV uh, in an unstable environment by using a combination of uh, all our algorithm and also the optimal control, which is a sliding mode control. So from a control point of view, uh, we would have the velocity vector, the angular velocity vector, the position vector, and the angular angles as the states. And we would have four uh, collective lateral, longitudinal, and pedal inputs as the input to the controller. The forces that are applied to the helicopter includes the main lateral thrust, the tail lateral thrust, the friction forces on the helicopter, the gravitational uh, forces, and also the flapping of the helicopter uh, is included in this modeling. So in this slide, uh, we would see how we uh, define the moment derivation of the helicopter model which is based on the moment of the main rotor, the moment of the uh, tail rotor, and also the flapping uh, of the helicopter. So having uh, six states and four inputs gives us an under-access under system for the helicopter, which is actually the nature of a helicopter. So in order uh, to solve this problem, uh, we would define a control point above the helicopter, which is something that uh, some of the students uh, has done previously. So, and instead of controlling uh, the center of gravity, we control the control point and uh, the position of the control point. And we also have the yaw added to the, the position of this control point. So we would have three states for the position of the control point and uh, we would also have one uh, other state uh, which is the yaw of the helicopter. So these are the set of equations uh, which includes the three set of equations for the control point and also one more equation for the yaw of the helicopter. So in order to control uh, the helicopter using the sliding mode controller, we would uh, have to define uh, some parameters for the sliding mode controller, which is includes the which includes the convergence rate, the band on F, which is the input independent part of the uh, equations, and also the input dependent part of the uh, uh, equations, which is uh, the delta and also the surface reach time and also the control point position and the distance between, uh, between the center of gravity and the control point position. So this is the whole system of the study. So we have a helicopter here. The helicopter gives some states to a function which uh, gives the control point position and it also gives some rewards to the D4PG agents, and it gives some error to the sliding mode controller based on the desired position that we want to have, which is, for this case, is just uh, the 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 for all the states. So the D4PG agent here uh, has to give the parameters of the uh, sliding mode controller as actions, and it gives the reward, and it gets some reward based on the uh, inputs of the system and also uh, the states of the system. So the D4PG agent is uh, an uh, reinforcement learning agent which uh, uses the uh, deep deterministic policy gradient method, and it's also just an update to this method. So the way it works is that the critics uh, give a distribution of the rewards to the actor, and the actor uh, actually uses that 
uh, and it also uses the states that it gets from the helicopter uh, to find the parameters that for the uh, sliding mode controller. So, and this is the setup for the actor critic of the uh, D4PG agent that is given here. In this slide, uh, we define the reward function for the D4PG agent. I think the first step in this uh, equation includes the norm of the state, the most recent state. The second term is similar to the integral form of the PID controller. The third term is the norm of the inputs. The fourth term is the derivative of the norm of the input. And the last term is that uh, we would reward uh, the, the default PG agent as the time goes on. So it shouldn't be diverging. This is a comparison of the result if we use uh, the sliding mode controller with just uh, some uh, parameters that define from try and error and the orange line is the uh, 